my name is Bridget and welcome to my channel. For today's video we're going to be talking about my mystery snail tank because there are a few changes. Now if you've been here for a little while you will know that I have a mystery snail dedicated aquarium. This tank has been doing wonderfully. I've gotten some really cool snails in this tank. My very first snail that I put in this tank was blue, my blue mystery snail. And about a month later I decided to get two more mystery snails and add those to the tank and those are ink, my other blue mystery snail, and quill, my ivory mystery snail. And unfortunately the reason we're doing this video today is because two of those snails are no longer with us. If you know anything about mystery snails or aquatic snails in general, their lifespan is really, really short. So the two mystery snails that are no longer with us are Blue, the Blue Mystery Snail, and Quill, the Ivory Mystery Snail. So Blue was definitely older than Quill. I think that Quill should have lived a little bit longer than she did, but unfortunately, things just don't work out that way. So they are no longer here. So I do wanna quickly go through one more thing before getting to the actual purpose of today's video, and that is to just kinda of tell you about Blue. Now Blue was not my first mystery snail. He was my second mystery snail, but he is the snail that I had the longest, and I don't know, I felt such a huge connection to him that when he passed, um, I did bury him, and I buried Quill as well um, around the same spot, but I had a friend of mine who does resin art contact me and asked if I wanted to make Make anything with their shells. I decided to go and dig them back up and I found blue but I was unable to find quill for quite some time. Upon filming this video I did find her and her shell was very badly broken so something got to her. I'm not sure what but I did find blue and I was able to send blue shell to my friend Kayla and she has made a special piece for me to honor him. So this is the piece that Kayla made. As you can see there is blue shell in the center and there are a couple of random sprigs of foliage around that's made to look like little corals or something in the water. It also kind of looks like seaweed. I think it looks really really cool. And then there's a blue backsplash that's wispy and vibrant. I don't know. I really love this piece. I think it's so cool and I love that he is preserved in there forever. So even though I can't see him in the tank every single day, I can still see this piece every day and that means a lot to me. So Kayla is a really sweet, awesome girl. I'm so thankful that she did that. She owns a shop called Artsy Flamingo Creations that is on Etsy and I will have that linked below. She makes a lot of different types of resin art as well as custom pieces like this, so definitely check her out. So now we'll basically get on into what this video is actually about. So. Because we lost two of the mystery snails, Ink was all alone, and I felt really bad about that. So I decided to get some more mystery snails to add into the tank, and I also decided to just get some plants and kind of spruce things up a bit. I have a piece of driftwood in there now that I got from Aquashella that I knew I wanted to be the centerpiece of the tank, and I wanted to attach some plants to it, so that's what we did today. So we're gonna go ahead and do an unboxing of the plants and the snails, and you'll see a lot of other plants that are in this unboxing as well. Those got thrown into Cozy's tank, so you won't be seeing that today, but you will be seeing the plants that I'm attaching to the driftwood. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna do an unboxing with these new mystery snails and these new plants, and I hope you guys enjoy.
Well, all right, guys, that's going to be it for my video today, just showing you my new little mystery snails and the plants that I've added to the driftwood. I think the tank looks magnificent. I love the snails so much. These guys just make me so happy. So I love seeing their different colorations and patterns and everything and watching them go around the tank and do their little snail things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give us a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on your way out. I really appreciate it. Also, hit the notification bell so you can know when I upload next, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye!